Hi, I'm Dennis, and I'm going to be recording a solve of the puzzle 711. So let's go to the Cracking the Cryptic page. And so we've got some classic killer cages and Sudoku, but there's a special restriction that the digits orthogonally adjacent to a 7 must sum to 11. So if a 7 is here, these three digits can be like 1, 2, 3, 5. Because these four digits sum up to 11. And if 7 is like in a corner or on an edge of the grid, then it's just these two cells that count. So that's a quick explanation of the rules. Uh, and now we're going to actually get started. So the first thing we want to notice is these 16 cages give us 7 and 9. And OK, if this is 7 and this is 9, then this is 1, 2 at least. So this sum, like the only way this sum can be uh, 11 is this. That is a contradiction. That doesn't work. These ones see each other. So 9, 7, 1, 1. And similarly, you have this. Oh, sorry. I mixed these up. OK. So now you see this 20 cage. And because we have this 9 that sees all this, there's only one way to make uh, 20. That's 5, 7, 8. Now, if this is 7, its neighbors are 5 and 8. Those add up to 13. So this is 7. Also, this is 8. This is at least 1, 2. So this is at least 11. But then you have to add this. So that's actually got to be 5, 8. OK. Now, this guy here. This is 2, 2, 4. So this adds up to, at most, 4. Because this is at least 2, this adds up to, at most, 4. Um, which means that one of these guys has to be a 1. Can't be here, so it has to be here. OK, now these guys add to, uh, just these guys, they add to 5, because 1 plus 5 is 6. So that's 5 more. That's, uh, yeah, that's a 2, 3 pair here and here. In fact, these are different. And we can color them if we want. OK. Uh, OK, you see these ones that gives us 1 by Sudoku. Uh, let's give 7, 9. OK. If this is 7, 9, then there is a 7, 9 touching. And I want to show that 7, 9 can't touch. Let's see what happens if they do. Um, OK, let's say 7 and 9 are touching. Well, 7 has three more neighbors, each of which are at least 1. Um, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 9 is 12, and that is too big. That's bigger than 11. So this is 7, 9, and 7, 9. But notice that this can't. This is at least 2, 3, so this would be 7. In fact, this is exactly 2, 3, because 5 plus 7 is 12. OK. And now we can continue coloring our two, three pairs. Uh, what now? Oh. So we know that a seven is here. It can't be here, because that would require one, two, which is not possible. It's at least two, three. And in fact, since these ones see, both these ones see this 10 cage, this is two, three, five. OK. Um. What now? Uh, you can see nines here, nines here. Uh, oh. One's here. Um, OK. We cannot place a 7 here. No, we can. We can. There's nothing stopping us, I think. Oh, no. 
there is. <laughs> this has to be 7, because these can't be 7. Otherwise, it'd be 1, 2, but that's not possible. Uh, so this is 7. OK, great. Notice the 7 doesn't touch. Like, none of its neighbors can be a 1, right? And so these two cells see each other, and these two cells see each other. And this is a really kind of a theme that gets sort of developed in this puzzle. Um, 2 plus 3 is 5. And these two are at least 2 plus 3. These two sum up to at least 2 plus 3 as well. So you have two pairs of at least 5. Two pairs of distinct numbers. And in fact, um, I'm going to say that they have to be 5 and 6, because you have 5 and a 5. You have to increase one of them by 1. So it's just this pair sums up to 5. This pair sums up to 6. Um, the only way to sum up to 6 without 1 is uh, 2, 4. The only way to sum up to 5 without 2 or without 1 is 2, 3. So we have 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4. So in other words, if a 7's neighbors all cannot be 1, uh, then its neighbors must sum up. Like, its neighbors have to be 2, 3, and a 2, 4 pair, basically. Like 2, 3, 2, 4 if it doesn't see any ones. OK, so now if this is a 5, this is going to be 4, right? This is a 2. Uh, this is a 2. This is a 3. Actually, another way we could think about this is if this is a 2, 3 pair, then these are both 4. And that doesn't work. We need a 2, 3 and a 2, 4 pair. So this cannot be a 2, 3 pair. The only way to stop that is with a 5. Um, And here we have the 7. And in fact, for a bit of a plot twist, this time we can't have 1 next to 7, because that would make things too small. Um, and the reason for that is because these two sum up to 5. This is 4, which means that this is 1. This is at most 10. So this has to be 1. and. These two sum up to 5, and these two have to sum up to 6, right? So that's a 2, 4. So it's 3, 2, 4, 2. And a lot of stuff resolves. And again, these two 4, 3, 4 are different. We can color them if we want to, but I won't. It might make things a little more confusing. Oh, by the way, this is a 2, 3, because 2, 3 is here. This can't be. So this is yellow. That makes this 2, 3. And this makes this. 5, 6, 4, 8, uh, 4, 5, 6, 8. Yeah. I don't know how much that helps right now, but 4, 5, 6, 8. OK. So this can't be an 8. That would just clearly be too large because 8, 2, 1. OK. So now we have to try a couple of things. If this guy here is. Uh, Oh, no. OK, first, this, like, 9 is in this row, because it's not here. This is also just a 6. This is actually just 5, 8, 9. Right? So it's not a 9. This is a 9. So we get that, at least, first. Right? And uh, OK. Now let's look at this. Um. If this is a 4, 3, this is like either a 2 or 5. 5 is too big, so it has to be 2. But 4, 1, 2 adds up to 7, and that would be a 4. So that can't be a 4. And if this is a 6, I think it's just too big. Uh, 6, 2, 2. No, this is 6, 2, 2. Oh, but these are the same color. That is an issue. In fact, actually, we know this has to be, before we even like put in this 4, we know this has to be 2, 3. Um, do we, can this be 4? OK, if this is 4, then this is just too big. Yeah, 5 plus 2 plus 4 plus 1 is 12. So this can't be 4. This is be 2, 3. It uh, can't be 1 for obvious reasons. So this is 2, 3. And actually, you see this here. These two add up to 5. 
So these two had to add up to six, and that gives us a lot of good stuff. Yeah, that's a good way to think about it. Four, six, okay, this is eight, this is not eight. Cool. Um, okay. Now I think we can look here, like in this, particularly because this digit is like relatively big because, well, it has to be like greater than or equal to four. So I think there's some shenanigans you can do like here. Okay, uh, we'll put that on the back burner for now. I think there's a couple more things we can do. Hmm. Okay. Let's just fill in these guys, right? Four, six, seven, eight, four, six, seven, eight, four, six, seven, eight, and basically this can't be a seven. Because this is seven, and two plus three plus four plus five is like just naively, because this one is here. Um, two plus three plus four plus five is like much bigger than eleven. It's like fourteen or something, and fourteen is the smallest possible sum of its neighbors. This is not seven. Uh, so whoever this, whichever one of you guys is seven, sees this as a neighbor, um, and now we can use a size argument because. Here, like the digits are at least four, right? So since the digits are at least four, that means that these two guys are gonna sum up to at least eight. Right, because you have four plus four, or actually four plus five. Um, and in fact, like the smallest that, well, if this is seven, then these two, if this is seven, then these two, but either way, the smallest that the seven's neighbors can add up to these like two or these two is nine because they have to be four or five because both, everything here is greater than or equal to four. So seven has at least two neighbors greater than or equal to four. And that sums up to at most nine or at least nine because four plus five and you see here, four plus five, one plus one, right? No matter which one of these is seven, it's neighbors over here and like over here or over here, it sums up to at least two. Like this sums up to exactly two, it sums up to at least two, that's like, could be three. But if this is seven, it has to be two. Anyway, so what this means is this is a four. And that's a pretty roundabout way of getting it, but I'm sure there's an easier way. Uh, and now, we have to have a five here. Like, it's somewhere here. It's one of you guys. Now, I am pretty sure that we can do a size argument here. Um, okay. So this is at least five now. I don't know if that's enough. Uh, oh, okay. Um, seven can't be in here, right? And maybe we should have started with this. Like we should have done this earlier. Like in a real solve, I think you'd notice this first. If seven is in here or here, then this is like, well, this is at least four. Seven plus four plus something is greater than 11. So this is seven. And this is seven and this is five. Uh, so this actually just resolves some things nicely. And these guys sum up to, oh no, these guys, sorry. Sum up to 11. Okay, so now we have a one in this column, or one in this box, one in this box, and seven in this box. Several sevens, all the ones. We could probably get a couple more nines soon. And, okay. So this seven must have a two as a neighbor. And I say this because 
If it doesn't, then 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 12. That's greater than 11. So one of you guys is 2. Oh, but like also Sudoku. So, sure. And anyway. Uh, what this can be is like 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. Well, it can't be 9. That's just too small. It also can't be 8. That's also like 2 plus 8 plus 3 is 13. So if we look at here, 2 plus 4 is 6, so that's a 5. 2 plus 6 is 8, which leaves us 3. So we have this. Um. Okay. Now these guys added 10 and these guys also added 10. So we have like two sort of, um, how do I say this? Yeah, sort of X pairs that like add up to 10. They're not directly connected, but they add up to 10. And that seems to be pretty important because 10 plus 10 plus 8, 45 minus 28 is 17. These guys add to 17. Is that directly useful? No, it's not. Um, oh, you see this 8 here, right? These guys can't be 8 because that'd be like, oh, can this guy be 8? 8, 2. Okay, we can't discount that yet. Okay. Um, oh gosh, this is actually pretty hard. Even though I'm the one who said this and I'm like forgetting. Oh, this is a five here in this box. Uh, Cause it's in this row and this is not five, this is five. Right, like in this box too. Sure, this is like a lot of ways. Okay, four, six, eight, nine. Four, nine. This isn't nine. Okay, so this is six, eight, this is two, four. And this is also not nine. Four, six, eight. 2, 4, 6, which means this is a 9. Well, like, actually, it was always a 9. It couldn't have been anything but just because these guys be some sort of. OK, so now we have 2, 4, 6, 8. Uh, this is 3, 7. Or, sorry, this is 3, 5. 3, 5, 3. That becomes 2, 6, right? Oh, that also resolves. It resolves a lot of stuff. Oh, this is falling apart. That's pretty cool. It's all coming together. Okay. So this is, this is two six pairs, so this is eight, nine, four, six, eight, two, six, two, six, four, eight, six, six, four. Six, eight, yeah. Okay, and all the sevens have their conditions fulfilled and all the, um, yeah, all the other stuff works. So this is basically just Sudoku now. Uh, there's a four here, there's a nine, five, eight, nine, five, eight, uh, eight, nine, Six, four, four, six, and that's it. That's seven, eleven.